Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about the comic book industry. We're going to talk about the late, great Stan Lee and how Stan Lee is being mined as a pop culture figurehead. You know, after his death, uh, they're they're doing NFTs based on Stan Lee and characters that, uh, frankly, nobody has heard of. <laughs> and they're using his official Twitter account to promote these. But this is hardly the first instance of Stan Lee being uh, used posthumously, uh, I believe. And uh, even you know Stan Lee's treatment up until the day he died was poor. Uh, there were allegations, uh, you know, lobbed at Stan Lee by many people in the comic book industry, which was, you know, shocking that they were uh, accusing this 95-year-old man of uh, uh, sexual misconduct. They were trying to Me Too Stan Lee at 95 years old. And now the comic book industry, now these fans that were accusing him of that are outraged that they're selling NFTs of Stan Lee via his official Twitter account. And... I mean, I think it's gross all the way around. Uh, I really do. Um, they've been using a lot of uh, Stan's likenesses and, and uh, D-list ideas after his death. Uh, he is a brand now. Um, he's, he's like a mascot. He has become the Colonel Sanders of comic books. And, uh, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I really don't. Um, you know, it, it's really, really unfortunate how they're treating Stan Lee that he is he is basically just a, a cartoon character he is a comic book character now and and uh you know the people that have the rights to his likeness are, are absolutely exploiting it so we're going to talk about that the mining of stan lee before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys over 246 247 thousand subs thank you for the support we do talk occasionally about the comic book industry, not as much as we used to. We used to talk about comics all the time, having worked uh, in the comic book industry myself uh, for a number of years. And we, we do self-publish indie comics uh, currently and go out to shopclownfish.com. Um, but we don't talk about comics as much as we used to because the comic book industry is in a, a massive state of decline, or at least a, a lack of interest you know, save for the, the diehards that continue to frequent the direct market comic book shops. Uh, the general public has moved on. And it does feel like in some sad ways, the death of Stan Lee also signaled the death of the comic book industry as we knew it. Um, you know, and it's it's horrible uh, how he was treated up until his death. Uh, in fact, uh, AARP had this article out there where they basically talked about the elder abuse of Stan Lee and how he was being exploited by his handlers. Um, they had uh, this one pimp daddy guy, uh, Kia Morgan, his former business associate, uh, yelling at him how to spell his name on comics, just sign the damn comic books. And I've heard many, many stories over the years that Stan Lee would be brought in and propped up in a chair just to sign comic books, mostly for speculators, not for fans, and that he was very... Uh, uh, unhappy about that, but um, you know that was that was kind of the deal, right? Now, of course, you know we could delve into how much of the Marvel universe Stanley actually created. Um, you know that's another conversation for another another day, obviously, because people are salty that Stan gets credit for the lion's share of of uh, you know the Marvel universe, and that guys like Jack Kirby and especially Steve Ditko sort of get forgotten you know, and all this. Um, but for better or for worse, he became sort of the, the Walt Disney character of, of Marvel. And, uh, you know, Disney exploits him now. And, uh, you know, his entertainment company or former entertainment company exploit him now. And now we've got uh, NFTs. Again, this is coming after, you know, in the last year or two of his life, these really heavy allegations were, were lobbed at him. I mean, a 95-year-old man skirt chasing the guy could barely sit up in a chair. I mean, come on. Um, well, let's pick some articles here. Stanley NFT Fuhrer is one of the start of many defiled legacies to come. Social media accounts of Stanley are facing a reckoning. This is coming from Tech Radar. Within hours of a Twitter post announcing the use of Stanley's characters in a series of NFTs, fans across the internet were rallying in protest. I am going to say. I think it has more to do with it being an NFT 
than it does being Stanley merchandise. Because if you go out to this account, they've been pimping Stanley merchandise for years, the last couple of years now. Here's here's a post from April. You know, Funko Pop, Stanley superhero soda. I mean, what the hell? And if you go through this timeline, you're going to find a bunch of stuff. You know, they're promoting movies, they're promoting... I mean, I don't mind this account posting video clips of Stan or interviews of Stan, uh, but they're using it to promote, you know, TV shows that he was barely involved in or developing. It was his company developing. And again, you know, merchandise. And Disney's even in on it, too. Um, Disney, it was earlier in the year when they were, you know, uh, they had this montage of what to expect from phase four of the N- MCU, something that Stan Lee had like nothing to do with. Right. And they were using a voiceover of Stan and it's like, wow, this sounds really familiar. And it turned out that it was actually from this really ratty cell phone video that they had recorded in 2017 or 2018 at the Marvel offices. Uh, as I recall, and it was uh, supposedly Stan Lee chastising Comicsgate or, uh, you know, fans that were uh, hoping that Marvel would roll the clock back a little bit. And, you know, what Stan was told, I don't think he name checked Comicsgate per se, but it was very clear that people at Marvel, probably Joe Quesada, were trying to use Stan Lee to get one last dig in before he died. And that was pretty gross. That was gross because God knows what he was told. And then what was even more disgusting was that uh, Disney used that that audio to pimp phase four. They cut and pasted bits of that audio, uh, the last, uh, you know, some of the last footage of Stan Lee to, to pimp uh, phase four of the MCU. You know, really gross. So this has been going on for a while now. But I think the reason people are so upset is it's NFTs. On December 14th, the real Stan Lee account, Stan's Twitter account now run by POW Entertainment, posted about the NFT collection coming later in the month, showcasing the Indian superhero Chakra the Invincible that Stan Lee created before his death in 2018. Um, This is what they said, from championing diversity to embracing new tech. Stan was one step ahead of the curve. To honor his innovative spirit, Stan's first Indian hero, Chakra the Invincible, debuts in his own NFT uh, from 7.30 p.m. 12.27 uh, to 12 p.m. 12.29. Sign up here. Uh, Chakra remains one of Lee's lesser-known creations. I've never heard of him compared to the Titans of the MCU. And Stan created a bunch of oddball characters you know, toward the end of his life. And I think it was just about like cranking out potential pilots and whatever for, for POW entertainment, right? Uh, it's worth noting that Chakra even starred in an animated film that aired in both English and Hindi, premiering on Cartoon Network in 2013. Well, be damned. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, it's not the choice of character fans are decrying, but the use of Lee's creations as well as his likeness, you can see in the images above, in the speculative NFT market. That's That's it. They've been using Stan, using his likeness, mining his legacy, um, even a few years before his death. Like they knew, hey, 95, this guy doesn't have a lot of time left. Let's let's give him the sign as much as he can, create as much as he can, even if the majority of it is hot trash, it, you know, because we're going to cash in when he's gone. Um, you know, of course, there's a whole, whole fiasco you know, when it comes to what happened with Stan's money and all this other, I mean, he was, he was subject to, to elder abuse. So now I just, I just think it's really ironic that, uh, comics Twitter is all about the, you know, preserving the legacy of Stan Lee. When a lot of these same people were, were lining up to take shots at the guy when he was 95 and being accused of, of, uh, sexual misconduct, you know, (laughs) I mean, come on. Uh, 95, you're hoping for sexual conduct, not, not, not misconduct. You're hoping you can still get it up. Uh, dictionary.com had possibly the best response saying that the verb defile was first recorded in 1275 to 1325. It comes from the old French word defouler, meaning to trample on and violate others. Comment, this is awful. This is terrible. Or the more fittingly given Lee's iconic piece of dialogue from Spider-Man, someone Reminding the account social media manager that with great power comes great responsibility. Again, nothing new. They've been using Stan for a while, you know, to pimp all kinds of projects and all kinds of merchandise, 
you know, using his likeness. Here's Stanley's superhero kindergarten. Um, you know, Funko Pops and crap and buy, 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 buy your Stan Lee stuff here because he, what, what's this Funko fair street art, Stan Lee, it, it, were people outraged over that? You know, I think it's kind of gross. I think it's kind of morbid, but I don't think people were outraged then it's because it's NFTs, right? Um, that is, that is my opinion. Um, you know, uh, Stan Lee is an NFT now. Fans are very upset. I think they have some of the tweets here. Yeah, there's dictionary.com. Uh, Dolan Dark can't believe Stan Lee came back from the dead just to promote an NFT and also Funko Pops and also Marvel movies he had no hand in writing, but just saying. If you delete this, we'll make computers free. <laughs> NFT shouldn't be done this way. This is terrible. Um, he ho hey, that's not fucking okay. Um, I missed 10 seconds ago when I had not seen that. Again, the outrage is sort of, I, I think it's more about it being NFTs personally, but uh, you know, it's disgusting because this is, this is kind of where we are with Stan Lee right now. He is unfortunately the Colonel Sanders of comic books and they're going to continue to exploit his likeness. Uh, any characters he even had, you know, an arm arm's length, uh, hand in creating, all of this stuff is going to be strip mined, um, you know, as much as they can. Disney is even in on it. Everybody's in on it. Um, but um, it's sad. It's sad. It's really sad. It is what it is, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's just very interesting to see people get upset about this, but not about the other stuff. You know, not about the, the years of, of uh, trash talk from Twitter and, and all of that. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I have no desire in buying any Stanley NFTs. I don't think anybody that listens to us really cares about that either. I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, news, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.